आडा रे पुदळी काडा एक थेपा ते पिरावया रूपाच्या पिपोळाचा रे ते पिरावया रूपाच्या पिपोळाच्या आडा रे कोरी मारा एक थरी ते तिची धरी पाच पाताळी ते तिची धरी पाच पाताळी वॉटर इज अलिक्सर ऑफ लाईफ फॉर एजेस वॉटर हॅज बीन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर शेपिंग ह्युमन सिव्हिलायझेशन अक्रॉस द ग्लोब In Goa wherever the perennial sources of water are flowing it has attracted different communities for agriculture and allied activities Vante a village in Satri taluka soaked by river Madhai Parval Nala and its streams has attracted the tribal non-tribal brahmins and other communities associated with agro horticultural activities It is truly mesmerizing to witness the flower shower at a long stretch of river bank. This is the mass blossom of a water tolerantiver tree. Mahadai, known as the great mother, has inspired human beings to enrich the land with greenery. The Parval Nala of Vante village supports rare and endemic biodiversity the huge and towering screw pines preserve the riverine ecosystem one can witness the southern bird wing nectaring on pagoda flowers the black naped monarch safeguarding the eggs from the heavy rain the orange headed thrush feeding the chicks and the dung beetle rolling the dung wall to the underground burrows Etymologically, Vante might have evolved from Vana Te, meaning the forest tree. Even today, the remnants reveal its past, the evergreen patches of forest. The dense forest is responsible for retaining the water level inside the ground and giving birth to a number of springs. the liana that is a bridge for arboreal creatures the large tree ferns surrounding the water bodies the widespread black pepper and the evergreen species of trees such as gusri and bipert are the floral wealth of this village shigmo and dhenlo are the festivals of agricultural communities expressing an intimate bond of relationship with the bounty of nature to express the gratitude recitations of folk songs followed by the dances indicate these enduring ties watami dongri wagajo bhokni watami dongri sarpa jurni inano piran to sater which was earlier worshipped in the form of anthill is today replaced by a stone sculpture of a goddess related to warfare nestled among a lush greenery the sacred water body at devasu is an example of the wisdom of our ancestors to successfully utilize water for agro horticultural diversity nature has been fulfilling our needs but the human greed can never be satisfied the sacred hills springs and grooves are on the verge of extinction extraction of sand pebbles stones and mineral ores has already posed danger to the divinity respected by our forefathers if we fail to understand the echoes of mother nature the barren and infertile land will force us to migrate again in search of food shelter and solace